So I'm here to talk about uh, my second year project. Uh, my second year project concerns uh, feeding reaction of cassiopeia to different uh, food sources, so cassiopeia upside down jellyfish. Uh, they were chosen because they're easy to uh, keep in an aquarium system. Um, in the handouts I've given you, you'll find uh, the hypotheses for my test. Um, also in that handout is a full list of all the references that I've used so far uh, for research as well as um, coming up with the idea. These uh, references will be used to help with the uh, writing of my final report and if any problems do occur during actual trials then um, I refer back to my references to see if they, these have come up before. Um, the so my key um, resources which um, I will be required for my test. Um, I would need lighting uh, because caterpillar are upside down jellyfish so they require light to thrive and survive which is ideal for over the weekend when I'm unable to come into the marine school uh, to feed them. They'll have light there so they'll be able to uh, survive the weekend. Um, my key external bodies, these are people who I believe would be interested in my research that I'm carrying out, as well as Blue Reef and National Marine Aquarium for supplying uh, the jellyfish to the marine school for me to run my project with. Um, so in the handout I've written about my um, associated research and I've written why they're helpful. Um, so PSJ um, stated that frozen food was um, uneaten. Uh, where live food was, so this helped in the decision to use live food instead of frozen food. Um, key <coughs> parts of my methodology, um, I'm going to use the Crisco wallace statistical test, which is a non-parametrical test, uh, which is used when there are three or more variables, and as there are three variables in my test, um, I'm going to, uh, it was the best test to use. Um, obviously, because I'm using live um, specimens, it was important that as an ethical review. Uh, signs of stress and health conditions are going to be monitored on a daily basis and if anything is to occur then my main priority would be to make sure that nothing does come to happen to the walls of jellyfish. Um, schedule of operations, due to at this moment in time not knowing when the Cassiopeia are coming to the marine school, uh, I'm going to begin to run my project referring to um, cuttlefish on the 17th of November. So um, I have two contingency plans as I was using uh, live specimens, two contingency plans were needed. Um, my first one is the preferred prey size of um, cuttlefish on glass shrimp and the second one is photo identification of minke whales. Um, within the appendices of that document, I've included data collection forms, which I'll be using for um, my Cassiopeia um, investigation. A full risk assessment is also within the appendices. Um, and there's also a methodology, a, well, a brief methodology for my cuttlefish project as well, uh, which is obviously going to begin to run in the next couple of weeks. Um, there you go.